Hi Taurus. I'm trying out diff different spreads. So every day this week I've had different layouts. So I'm going to try another one with you. Um, also remember it's not a personal reading. It's a general reading. So it might not resonate to everybody. Also um, the roles can be reversed here. Okay. So let's see what we have for Taurus see what we have for Taurus individuality friendship give me more on this connection for Taurus criticism are you critic self crit doing some self criticism okay <clears throat> let's see what we have here what is this person thinking about Taurus, spirit guides? The person they're thinking about. What is this person thinking about? What's their energy? Left hanging. Player. Mm. <clears throat> the player is lonely. <laughs> Divine timing. Bottom of the deck, love offer. This is a challenge for them. Is your heart open to receive my love offer? They don't know if your heart is open to receive their love offer. Your challenge was frustration. <sighs> Sacrificing too much. Hard to be on the same page. You feel frustrated with this connection, I feel. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Okay, let's see. Have your own life. You're giving each other space on your own individuality give me more of this individuality for Taurus mm, recovering recovering from a heartbreak here this heartbreak has been very burdensome to you it's time for you to find your individuality cut that burden off of you like cut the burdens drop the burdens give me more of this friendship prioritizing friends Scorpio could be a Scorpio you're dealing with but I feel like this is you your emotions are all over the place could be a little unstable give me more of this friendship and yeah unstable you go from you know prioritizing fun in connections but your emotions go how do i say <laughs> back and forth you feel happy one minute the next you just feel miserable well not miserable but like your emotions you get into your emotions here Criticism, always criticizing partner, subconsciously creating wedges. It's never good enough. So you feel like it's never good enough. Whatever you give to this, or maybe you don't feel good enough. You're doing some self-criticism. That's what I felt when I first pulled it. Ooh, you're going through some big changes here. Things are slowly changing in your environment. I feel like you need to have a lot more um, faith in the situation. You probably don't have faith in the situation that things, you probably feel like it's going to end. Give me more on this death. Mm -hmm. Things are going to take a turn here. Mm hmm. It's, um, you, someone here is not having faith in the situation. They feel like it's, it's ended, but something here could be changing within this connection. There could be a physical union between you two, but it, it's going to take for you to have faith, blind faith in this. We have at first sight, strong initial attraction, instant feelings of love, intense desire to know more. So you have this desire to know more about something that you might have walked away. 
you're needing to walk away from emotional baggage and start a new beginning here. There will be a new beginning, something worth celebrating. But it's going to take for you to walk away from some emotional baggage here. I feel like you're still looking at the past and feeling burden over it. Feeling heartbreak. You're wanting to know more. But you're not looking. You're not having faith on what's to come. Which is really, really good. New beginnings. Let's see. Give me more on this left hanging. They feel very disappointed. I'm getting remorse as well because they blocked this. It was it was them that kind of sabotaged this, I'm feeling. Yeah. Self uh, sabotaged this by avoiding something. They left you hanging. It says I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. So they feel bad about it. Of trying to avoid you and blocking you. Possibly blocking you. Physically blocking you. Possibly. <laughs> Give me more of this player. What's this player? I've been playing the field. Not ready to settle down. But I feel like they really haven't. They've been portraying this because then we have loneliness. And it's how the way I read cards. If something like this comes behind it, this is what's really the truth. Because they're, they're um, being seen as a player, but they're actually lonely. <laughs> I'm feeling the burn of loneliness, but I'm ashamed to admit it. See? Give me more on this player. Mm -hmm. They are really in their feelings. They really want to just be happy. Look at that. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. It's like... <coughs> They feel like they took you for granted. They, f they took your love for granted. But they're actually acting like they have it all together and that they're happy. They're not. I don't feel it. Mm -mm. Give me more of this loneliness. Not in their love life. They're not happy. Yeah. They feel cold, distant from people. Maybe cutting out people. They might be, um, it's like they're trying to work on themselves. They feel lonely. They've been cutting out people and trying to work on themselves, trying to manifest something stable in their life, maybe put in and work to, you know, in, in work or learning something. Or this is someone that is manifesting. To me, this is someone that's manifesting because they have the wand and the pinnacles up here kind of makes it seem like they're trying to ma manifest this beginning with you. Look at this. It's the same pentacle. So they're trying to manifest something here. They're single. So if you think there was someone, no. I feel like they feel cold, distant, cutting out people, maybe even having cutting words towards people. If this is someone that has been through a divorce, they're the divorcee. They also feel could be also feel jaded. Mm hmm Hurt. Like they can't really trust anybody. Give me more on this divine timing. Soon there's gonna be a breakthrough here. It's like a new clear beginning here. Which is going to open up this, these doors. There's going to be some clarity coming in. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck. So the challenge here is to clear the air. Something regarding a commitment as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be hesitating to clear the air with you. And having something solid long term. Mm hmm Sorry about that, guys. 
I had to wake up someone. <laughs> um, it was time. Let's see. I mean, yeah. Let's see. What are their thoughts towards Taurus? What is this person's thoughts towards Taurus? I don't know how to let you go. This person hasn't let you go. I told you. You did not break me. Ooh, I sense a little bit of ego. You are never far from my mind. You, I was reminded of your scent recently. Okay. With you did not break me, it kind of brings the vibe of if you really wanted to, if you said something cutting or something out of resentment, anger or something, they want you to know kind of thing like, oh, well, you did that, but that didn't hurt me kind of thing. Whatever you did, it didn't hurt me. I'm fine without you kind of thing. So it's like more of an ego thing. I don't know how to let you go, but they can't let go of you. They're all, you're always in their mind. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's get some advice for you. Advice for Taurus, spirit guys. Resist pushing buttons. Maybe you were pushing buttons. Oh. <laughs> You know there are triggers that get to them, but avoid pushing those buttons no matter how badly you're tempted to. Oh yeah, you have Scorpio in your seventh. Okay, so try not to push someone's buttons or trigger them. Okay, so that is what I have here. I have a lot of signs here, so I'm just going to name a few. We have... Could be a Scorpio here, a Virgo, a Libra, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio again. Um, but that's your seventh house. I wouldn't be surprised if this person has a lot of Scorpio in their chart. Um, we have Pisces, Aries, could be a Gemini, and Leo. A lot of Scorpio though. That is what I have. I hope this felt like it resonated. Thank you so much. And take care of you. Bye.